I'm Madison Wade. Here is a look at what's happening today. Sacramento County deputies are investigating an early Friday morning shooting along Florin Road in South Sacramento. Detectives say that shots rang out in the McDonald's drive through A man in his 20s later showed at the hospital with a gunshot wound to his upper body. He then died. Right now, police do not have a suspect or a motive, though they do think the shooting was targeted. A 63-year-old woman is dead and a man injured after they were hit in a suspected DUI crash in South Sacramento. They were hit while they were backing out of a driveway on Orange Avenue Friday morning. The driver of the pickup that hit them was then booked on DUI charges. Wildfire survivors have until Tuesday to file claims against PG&E for wildfire damages. The original deadline was back in October, but thousands of eligible survivors didn't know how they had to apply to do this, and it was extended. Again, survivors have until Tuesday the 31st to file a claim and get the utility to cover their losses. Now to check your weather, here's meteorologist Monica Woods. And we saw some breezy conditions for today that kept fog at a minimum, but we started off with a lot of frost throughout the valley. Current wind speeds at about 5 to 10 miles per hour as we head into the afternoon. They will continue to back off though for tonight and what's going to happen is that's going to now set us up for areas of fog developing, especially as we approach sunrise. So here we go. We're going to take it through tonight. We'll see clearing skies for this year. Have a little bit of cloud cover building up there in the afternoon, but here's the fog stretching through mainly the northern San Joaquin Valley. Patchy fog elsewhere, but it's going to be thickest in the northern San Joaquin Valley early tomorrow morning. Clearing after that, we're back to a mix of sun and clouds for the afternoon. Highs will stay mild in the 50s for the Bay Area Valley and Hills. For the Sierra, we're dry and highs right about 40 after morning lows in the teens. Our 10 day planner, though, we're tracking that next weather system in the Pacific that will hit us late on Sunday through early Monday. Just a few showers moving through the valley, not a huge accumulation from this storm system. And then for New Year's Eve, we're dry highs in the upper 50s and Wednesday, the start of 2020 sunny skies, highs in the upper 50s, close to 60 by the time we wrap up the next work week. Now you're all caught up on what's happening today. Heavy rains and snow are finally on their way. Stay up to date with the latest in severe weather as well as breaking news and traffic with the ABC 10 app. Available now in the App Store or Google Play. ABC 10, wherever you are.